everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a swipe on it. And what it is, it's gonna be a practice for a commission job I have coming up. And I just wanted to see how this combination of colors plays together. And just, uh, just play around with it a little bit because the commission pieces are quite large. So let's go over my paints. My base coat today is just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I did add a few drops of the Golden Burnt Sienna to try and make it a creamy color. Uh, my next paint is Artist Loft Copper. Uh, my next paint is a navy blue, which I made myself, which is um, Liquitex Basics Phalo Blue. And what I added to that was just a dollop of uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black and Liquitex Basics Green Deep Permanent. And I will show you that paint. Just a very pretty dark, dark navy. And the last color is just uh, Liquitex Basics Flow Acrylic White with a dab of the uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black added to make a gray. And I went medium gray on this. The person wanting the commission wanted um, cream, gray, navy, and I added the copper in there. So I've already got my base coat down and let's get started with layering the paint. Oh, pouring medium. Let's talk about pouring medium as I'm starting this out. Um, I did use the Floetrol today. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirtagac 800, and Liquitex um, Gloss Medium and Varnish. Just a little dab of the GAC and the Liquitex uh, Gloss Medium and Varnish in there. I was watching some other artists this morning on YouTube, and one of the artists started her video out walking some old property where she used to live, and she told a story about her childhood. And I just thought that was, that was such a great idea that I'm gonna share with you while I'm, while I'm just while I'm putting, pouring the paint down I'm going to share a story with you about my childhood. I have a sister that's four years older than me. And when we were young, we lived around quite a few farms. And um, not there weren't a lot of um, people that lived out in our area. Pretty isolated. So anyway, I didn't have any uh, playmates that were girls in my age. But my sister had a, a friend that was her age, a neighbor, and they did everything together. And of course, my mom was always saying, take your sister with you. And I did get to hang out with them. So one day they're out in our backyard flying a kite. I must have been about five, which means my sister was about nine, I would say. I know I was pretty little. And they're flying the kite, and I'm, I'm standing there watching them. Well, the kite goes down. And they asked me to go, go get the kite for them. And being the little sister I am, and you don't think twice about it, I had to go out in this field and get the kite. Well, I had boots on, and the field was very muddy. So I got the kite and came back, was going to come back, but my boots got stuck in the mud. And I actually left my boots out in the muddy field and I walked back. Well, my parents found out about it. I got a spanking and sent to my room. I got in trouble. And I remember looking out the window and there was my sister and her friend flying that kite. And I remember how thinking how unfair that was, even at the little age I was. Uh, 
how unfair that was that uh, she got to go ahead and fly her kite with her friend. And, and I was the one that, that retrieved that silly kite for them. And I heard that, you know, you ask people when their memories start and some will, you know, say three, four, whatever. But it's just certain occasions, I think, that when we're that small, we remember. And, and that's, the, that's one of the ones that I remember. So if you're watching Older Sister, if you're watching this video, that story's for you. Remember those days I'd do anything for you, and I still would. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it a torch here. And I think that I'm going to start out... out um, with the navy blue as my swipe color just to see what that does and I'm going to try and put it here in the middle and this is quite a simple color palette here not too many colors but we'll just see just see how it goes And today I'm just going to use some playing cards, simple playing cards as my swipe device. Just laying it down. Now putting a whole lot of pressure on it, just a little bit. I'm not sure I'm going to get cells today. Put some squiggly lines in there. Okay, now I'm just going to go back over in a few areas with some of my thinner cards that I um, cut, cut here. Okay, that's that side. And I'm going to flip this painting around here. And on this side, I think I am going to use the cream color because I have quite a bit of that left. Let's use that cream color for my swipe color. See what we like better here. This is all experiment. I'd rather experiment on a small canvas for a commission than Start right away with just a big, big canvas. And I hope everybody had a nice weekend. The weather that we're having right now is very pleasant. Our fall season is just about ready to kick in here. Okay, again, I'm just going to take my little cards that I cut here. Go through a few areas. And I, may, I might even draw down some of that, that 
navy blue here, as you can see. Give it a little extra for the eye to look at. And then turn it on the side. These are all the things that I've learned by watching other artists do a lot of swipes. See how I turn my card and then it makes a very small line. I'm going to turn it over again and I'm going to just play with it some more here. See if I can add some lines here. Okay, now let's give this a torch. See if we bring anything up. Okay, and now I'm going to do a little bit of tipping here. Just going to gauge how much paint I have on my canvas. Let's see if it'll tip any this way. not moving too much so there's not a lot of paint on there okay so what what else I have is I have two little bottles here one I have the copper paint in and one I have that navy in so what I'm gonna do is just I'm actually gonna just draw a few lines down here Just adding a little something for the eye to look at again. One more here maybe. Okay, and then I'm also going to do that a little bit with the copper. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just take that little card again, and I'm going to just try and incorporate those in a little better.
and I just take my little card and tip it up to the side like that. Just playing around with my painting here. Just softening those lines a little bit. I guess that's the, what I, how I want to say it. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more tipping and I am not getting any cells here today that I see. Maybe a few, just a few, very little, little ones. Paint's moving, but very, very slow. I am just going to try and get it down to the bottom there. And then bring it back. I do like it in the middle when it's not so straight across like now. I, I like that a lot. Just bringing it back down here a little bit. And I will finish the sides off camera. Just taking another look at it here. I'm just gonna play a little bit more with a few of these lines. I'll give it a torch. See, I really like that in there. It's really nice. Bringing a few more lines down here. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I'd really be open to suggestions as to what you would change or not do or do. Because like I said, this will be a commission. And I do want it to look as good as it can. Just bringing down a little bit more of that cream color here. Just wiping off my card with my glove after every swipe. That's looking much better. Just going to do a few more here. Okay, let's do another torch and then I will get you down for a close up.
like I said, there's a few little cells popping up, but not much. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I just did a, a simple swipe on. Just a few colors. And here's the upper left-hand corner. Just down the left-hand side. You can see where I drew the lines through. A few little cells popping up, not many. I'll take you up the middle here. And over to the left corner, I'm sorry, the right corner, upper right, and down. I like it in here. It's very pretty in there. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. I'd appreciate that. And until next time, take care, everybody, and bye for now.